Alright you guys, assalamu alaikum. Let's go ahead and get started. What you'll need are a pair of scissors, some fabric stitch or some iron-on adhesive, and some jersey fabric. Optional would be that Sharpie, a seam ripper, and a ruler. And I'm going to start off with this pair of jeans that I have which has already been like bleached or acid washed so I don't need to do anything to change the jeans. I got the Sharpie and the ruler here. And when I first started, I thought I was gonna go ahead and use the Sharpie to just kind of mark and draw each line where I was going to cut at. And I used pink so it would be visible, but when I was doing that, I decided that I actually didn't like it, so I just went for cutting. And all I'm gonna do is just cut different size cuts, some larger, some smaller than others, but you just wanna cut all the way down that um, side seam of the leg since these are going to be kind of, you know, frayed on the side of the leg. All right, you guys, when you're done, you're going to do the same thing down the other side. And I decided to go ahead and add like some extra little slits, just little tiny holes, just to give a little, you know, something extra to them. So that's optional, but I decided to go ahead and add them. So once you finish making all your slits, you wanna throw these pants in the washing machine and that'll give it this nice finished look that gives you, you know, the really distressed finish. Alright you guys, so this next step is what's going to make these pants Muslima friendly or modest friendly. So I go ahead and add this jersey fabric. Um, I use black because that's the only jersey that I had on hand, but you know you can get creative with it and use any color that you have. You just cut down, you know, the length of the pants or anywhere where you have, you know, cut at that you don't want to show. This way, you know, you have full coverage, you don't have to put like leggings or anything. I just folded it over and cut the two layers. Now I'm going to use the liquid stitch and go down the pants to glue the jersey fabric to the pant leg. Like I said, you can also use the iron-on adhesive if you have that as well. You just want to make sure if you use this glue that once you apply it, you are going to let it dry for at least 24 hours and I let mine dry overnight. And what I'm gonna do here is just place it and then I'm gonna press down just to make sure that I do get, you know, a good adhesion to the pants. You can see the glue there, but it does dry clear, so you won't have to worry about that. And even if it didn't, you know, it's on the inside of your pants and nobody's gonna see that. Okay, you guys, and just repeat the same process for the other leg. And I did have little pieces cut out to cover out, you know, the little holes that I made. This is what they look like. I let the pants dry overnight and now I'm just going to take some scissors and cut out any of the additional fabric just so that they're comfortable when I'm wearing them. Alright you guys, and this is what they look like when all of the additional fabric is cut off. Turn them inside out and here's your finished product. Using the jersey fabric for lining, make sure that you have complete coverage. You guys can see that here. Moving on to look two, I use these Forever 21 jeans that I never wear. I drew on them where I wanted to make my slits. This is the front, these are the back of the jeans. On the back, I made the slits, just a few, and I also cut out the left pocket as well. Then I went ahead and made my slits in the jeans where I had marked. You're gonna need your Clorox, and I put mine into a little spray bottle. 
For application, all I did was just kind of randomly spray where I thought I would like the Clorox to be at. Places where you see like that big hole, I just kind of spread out a little bit with my fingers. And you just kind of spray however you want it to be. And you can see me just, you know, spraying the bleach there. This is the finished result after I put them in the washing machine and the dryer. I did the same steps on the inside for the lining. And this is what they look like when they're all done. Here's the front and this is the back. And you guys can see the same thing here. It gives you the full coverage without having to have any leggings or anything like that underneath. Alright guys, so that's it. Super easy. These are the two finished looks. The first one side distressed with lining and the second one distressed in the front, bleached and with lining. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thought it was super easy. If you do make some jeans using this tutorial or a variation of it, I would love to see a video response or you guys can tag me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this tutorial, any suggestions that you want to see next. And thank you so much for watching. Until my next video, you guys. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Make sure you guys connect with me and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and as always, feel free to share.